Well, hi everybody, it is Rob, and look at this stupid thing I've still got on my head. <sighs> headlamp. Pretty cool headlamp. Um, I, I like headlamps. Uh, they're a lot better than trying to hold a flashlight in your teeth for sure. Um, I wanted to come and talk to you this evening it, uh, about being too heavy for the stool that you sit in and breaking it. I don't think it broke, but good grief. Uh, nothing ever goes the way you think it's going to. I'm filthy and nasty and dirty and I'm covering stuff. I've been out at uh, one of my customers down in the basement at their feed mill uh, doing some work down there. We got a big project, big project starting in about a week and it's one of those projects that has to be started and finished in about a four day time frame. So everything I get done between now and then, then the better off we are. Uh, but I wanted to come and talk to you this evening about rabies again. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. Uh, if you saw the video a couple of days ago, <clears throat> maybe more than a couple of days ago, one day last week I talked about how that skunk turned out it did have rabies because it infected a kitten and we figured it out, etc., etc., etc. I'm not sure what I'm seeing there. I don't care. Um, and our exposure, especially happy hairs, exposure was pretty much none. Uh, but there were some other people here, and so some of them we had to think about their possible exposure. And, and my daughter and I, uh, Cornelius, for those of y'all that know that name, uh, we had some exposure. We None of us ever got bit. None of us ever got any serious scratches or anything. If the health department, let me tell you, when you get rabies, everybody gets involved. The health department, the sheriff's department, and the whoever, whatever else, the veterinary department, everybody comes and gets you in your business a little bit, which is an okay thing. Uh, nobody was bad. Nobody was out of hand with everything. The worst person was our veterinarian, and he's a friend of mine, and his concern and his intensity at times was simply directed for our safety because he cares about us, and I know that, and he and I talked a little bit. I've got a band-aid coming off about sweating it off out there this evening. But I figured a lot of people want to know about rabies shots. You know, the old style rabies shots that you had, I guess I broke my story there. The whole idea was that Sarah, yep, yeah, Sarah, everybody knows her name. Cornelius and I, <clears throat> uh, I decided we needed to get shots. You know, we had to euthanize a bunch of kittens and we had to do some other things. And the more I thought about it, because here's the way rabies works. <clears throat> There's no way to test if you're infected or not. Well, I mean, I guess like a friend of mine said, you, you know, you can cut your head off and send it to them, and then, you know, they'll give you a call back and say, no, you're okay. But uh, all joking aside, rabies is serious enough, they can't test for it, so you don't know you've got it until you've got it. And once you've got it, you have missed the boat. It is too late. Uh, it is a deadly disease. Now, here's what I went through over a three or four day period of time. I knew that my girl and I, really didn't have anything to worry about. None of us had gotten bit, we hadn't got scratched, we hadn't gotten, you know, they hadn't spit in our eyes, none of that kind of stuff. But the more, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, okay, it would be the prudent thing to do. And we originally set up to get the shot started today. But by Saturday, I was becoming a nervous wreck. I got one daughter left. <laughs> I got one daughter left. I can't, it didn't, if they told me I had to cut off both arms to keep her alive, I would have done it. <clears throat> and so, by Saturday evening, I was a nervous wreck. I could not stand the thought of waiting two more days, three more days, four more days, whatever it worked into, to get us started on treatments. Because what if a symptom developed? And that's, that's how that works. You're fine right up to the point where you're not fine, and once you're not fine, you're completely not fine. And so, Saturday afternoon, and because, because we didn't really figure it all out that just what needed to be done until, until pretty much on Friday, you know, we kind of, after considering all of it. And by then it was Friday evening on a holiday weekend. That's why it was going to be so many more days, Tuesday before the clinic opened up. So we wound up going to the emergency room over in Lubbock at Covenant Hospital because they're the only ones that have the vaccine and the H-Rig. The H-Rig is, well I'll tell you about that in a second. Anyway, we went there. So, old time rabies shots. You got them in the stomach. There were about 20. I've got an aunt that is a nurse 
uh, and she's been a nurse. Good grief, she turned eight. She turned 84. On, oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. She'll never see this. She said she celebrated her 21st birthday for the fourth time uh, on Saturday. But I called her thinking she'd have some advice, and she told me, you know, used to. That's what they did. She used to have to give like 20 shots in the stomach, and it was like one every day for, you know, 20 days in a row. Ugh. I'm okay that they didn't do that. What they do now, when we got there, and I'll give credit to the people at the, at the emergency room there. They, just short of trying to talk us out of it, they counseled with us on whether we really needed to do the shots or not because of how much more expensive they were going to be doing them at the emergency room. But by that point, I was already convinced that it was just the smart, it was the prudent thing to do. It really was. And after we talked about it, and even they said, your risk is minimal. I said, I know it but it's not zero. So, and they said, no, we get it. They said, they said, we're happy to help. So they got us all set up. So here's what happens. And for Cornelius and I, it was both the same thing. There's, we got, we got three different things in four different shots. They gave us a tetanus booster, first of all, which is not a bad idea. It's always good to get a tetanus booster. And then we got the rabies vaccine over in this arm. And then we got two of what I call the H-rig Shots. HRIG stands for Human Rabies Immunoglobulin uh, Serum. And that's the stuff that basically what that does, that's the one that goes to work right then and starts attacking and getting in front of any rabies virus that may be in your body. That's the one that goes to work quick. Uh, the vaccine is the one that kind of sets you up more to get more of a permanent, uh, uh, a permanent immunity to it. The one we did today was another one of those shots. So right now, total, we built, we both had five shots. Uh, it turns out the shots were no big deal. I mean, they were no big deal. I was worried. I was thinking, oh, great, they're going to come out with this big honking thing that looks like a bicycle pump and, you know, ran it to me. Uh, but it wasn't. Now, the shots I got, they were these big old freaking horse syringes that, you know, had a lot of that stuff in it. But the girl, I'm going to say her name, Lana, uh, was great. I mean, she gave about as good of a shot as I've ever had. And since we had to get four of them, I'm impressed. I'll go back to her for shots anytime if we don't have to do it in the emergency room. But uh, no soreness, no big deal. The only thing, it didn't hurt when they did it. The only thing was in my thighs after they gave those two shots, after about seven or eight minutes, they started feeling sore. For those of you who are runners or if you've ever, any of you that have ever done any running, you know how that, that feels after you finish a run for the first time and your thighs are just burning and sore, but not a bad kind of sore, just kind of that, that tight muscle soreness that's all it was i mean that's all it was and then the shot we got today was a was a no big deal it was a nothing it was a nothing um <clears throat> i have no i have no i i shudder to think how much this is all going to cost me by the time we did shots and we've got cats quarantined and we've gotten all kinds of we've got to get several more shots for all the animals like oh my god the skunks don't have a prayer around here if i see them now they are persona non grata, I promise. You know, and I've never, I've never been too, skunks weren't too big of a deal unless they get in my chickens, which they almost always do. They're my number one egg getter and, and chicken killer uh, for baby chicks at least. They don't bother the big ones. And then they're just a nuisance for the way they smell. Our house, I think I mentioned on that other video, you know, the skunk attacked the box of kittens on the front porch next to the front door and our house stank easily for two weeks. I mean bad for two weeks. Um, but that's, this is bugging me. That was from, yeah this was from today's shot. This is from last week. It'll come off in the shower here in a little bit Saturday. Anyway, that's what, that's, that's how it is with rabies shot. It's not a big deal. We got the shot Saturday night. I came home. Any of you that are on Instagram may have seen this post. Um, I got back home. My little brother had called me while we were up there. My little brother works in hospitals too. He's a respiratory therapist. Uh, been doing it for years and years. And he used to work at that hospital, so I just knew he'd be interested because of that. Uh, had sent him, gave him, gave him, given him a phone call, and uh, told him what was going on. And then forgot to call him back. So I get back here. My buddy Evan and I are sitting over there in the chair. We're fixing to enjoy something, something good to drink, and just kind of relax for the day. My little brother sends me a text message. He said, so? I'm like, oh, I forgot to call him back. So I typed back a message to give you an idea how worried I was and didn't really realize how stressed out and worried I was about the whole thing. 
I try not to be one of those guys that just reacts to everything and loses my mind and stuff. I try to be stable and calm, make rational decisions. I guess that's good. I don't know. I typed back my message to my little brother. I said, yeah, we got the shots. Everything's good. I said, fixing to have a drink and celebrate that my daughter is once again safe. And I typed that, and that triggered basically a release of everything I had been feeling. And I sat there and started crying. Uh, hard because I had been that scared about my only daughter I have left and didn't even realize I was that bad off. So, um, if you ever get in this situation, all that just to say, if you ever get in this situation, don't screw around. Rabies is a bad deal. It's a bad, bad, bad deal. If you get it, if you get it, you're done pretty much. Um, you know, you just don't take a chance with it. Um, just don't take a chance. In fact, if you live somewhere where you deal with wild animals, skunks, coyotes, raccoons, foxes, possums, orangutans, fiddler crabs, I don't know, whatever. Rabies is a real thing, and rabies is on the rise in this part of Texas. Uh, I think I mentioned that video the other day that this part of Texas, the Panhandle down south, last year had 80, I'm going to say 84 cases of rabies. That's a bunch. This year, not even halfway through the year, they're already at 30, I think she said 35 cases this year. Good grief. If you have the thoughts that you might ever need something like that, I'd actually recommend getting in front of it. Now, the, the shots are expensive, but what the expensive part, the really expensive part, is the is the RIGA, the, the, the H-RIG. I keep calling it RIGA, the H-RIG, the Human Rabies Immunoglobulin uh, Serum. That's the part that's expensive, and they figure it out by weight. And so if you're kind of a fat guy like me, then, uh, you know, they figure up a little bit extra for you. Uh, but if you get ahead of it and just get the vaccination, then it's not, not as bad. It's still not cheap, but it's not as bad. I think today from the health department, I picked up six vials of, uh, of just vaccine, you know, rabies vaccine for us. Uh, at about three hundred dollars a vial. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, worth every dollar. But we'll be ahead of the deal now. Now I can start a new business. Somebody gets a, a rabid animal in their yard, they can call me. I'll come running in and save the day for a, a modest fee. Um, I am going to go to our veterinarian, and I'm going to make him punch out some rabies tags for us that we can wear around our neck. To show the world we've been vaccinated, so I'll have a little fun with that. You know me; I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have fun with most anything I can. Um, <clears throat> to finish up on kind of a somber note here, <clears throat> Wes put out a video today that <laughs> that I'm gonna have to not think very hard about while I talk about it. <clears throat> Go over to Wes's channel and watch the video he did about the butterflies. Wes, brother, I love you, man. I appreciate you. Um, that broke my heart, man. But thank you for doing that. I'm glad you're down in South Texas having a good time. I wish I was there. Uh, but I'm going to make more money next week than you are. So, uh, well, maybe. You put, out some, you put out some good videos. Who knows, man? You may hit the jackpot. But uh, you're going to have a lot more fun than I am. <clears throat> and uh, thank you. If y'all haven't seen Wes's video, go watch it. And uh, tell him you appreciate it. Anyway, I appreciate all of y'all. And... Uh, Thanks for watching this. I hope you got some information out of it. If there was something I, that you think I should have mentioned, <coughs> pardon that. If you think there was something I should have mentioned, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer it if I can um, and tell you about it. And then uh, maybe after this we won't have to do any more rabies videos for a while or any other stupid video. I'm ready for bad stuff to quit happening to us. I really am. Good grief. So anyway, thanks. I hope you all have a good night. I hope you all had a great Memorial Day. Um, I don't know anything else, but uh, good night. I'm going to go take a shower and eat some supper.